We just made it here to the Ford dealer, but this one's actually a lot close to my house. And I never knew that they had this big of an inventory. I always thought it was pretty small, but realistically, it's really big. Let's walk around a little bit. All right, so there's your comparison height differences between the two trucks. It's just honestly crazy. Big difference in height. Actually, maybe if the tire sizes were the same, it wouldn't be as bad be honest because these are definitely a lot bigger look at that 275 62 hour 20 i don't even know that's probably a 34 and then that's only a 31 so maybe if the tire sizes were the same it wouldn't actually be that much higher i guess it just gives the illusion because of the difference in tire size crazy man so i guess i'll walk down here check out this white one look at that paint Holy cow, that is not a flat white. That is, oh my gosh, can you see that? In the sun there? Holy cow, it looks good. Damn. Big ass logo. So we did look over all this before, but at least this time we got the fog lights on that. A nice LED light in there, I think. 6.7 power stroke. So it's not the simple interior, as you can see, it's pretty pretty up there. I'm not sure what edition this is, but what does it say? It's a Lariat. Very cool. So I don't think it's much as a power stroke, but the interiors do look very nice. And by that I meant platinum. My bad. A lot of room back there. That's what it looks like without the bed liner. You could honestly probably just primer the beds and give them to you that way, but they probably put a nice paint in there, so you need to, you need to put a bed liner in it. Because you don't want to scratch it up that nice paint, even though you just coated over it anyway but whatever see this what the? it's just a button so with these you don't even lift it there's a button right there and i guess it just comes down that's cool there's the rear end able to actually see it today look at those chrome tips on it yeah that's looks like a pretty solid axle wheel. so yeah i guess they don't sit that much higher it's just the illusion with the bigger tires but still man Got some big meats on there. I'm pretty sure that's a 34. It's a big tire. This is a tall truck. It honestly makes me feel very, very short. Look at that. The height of these is just incredible. So what I'm trying to do is find a lower package. I see these are Lariats, which is really up there. I mean, that looks nice. Don't get me wrong. You got the moon roof up there, the double moon roof. Oh my gosh. <sighs> looks so good. I wish you could get those packages with the lower one, the moonroof at least. Uh, we got another XLT, but then it just gets down to four trucks and stuff. But are cool too. I think this is probably the lowest package. 6.7 Power Stroke XLT. That's the inside of that. Yeah. Just got the fold up seat there. Perfect. I'm really liking that. Looks nice in there, man. Look at that. Seats are up. You got a lot of parts that it comes with. No bed liner in these either. Chrome tips. Nice rims. But honestly, I'd still rather have the base 17s with the black bumpers. 73,000 for the Lariat with the moonroof on it. Power stroke. That is, that is honestly ridiculous. That's crazy. No, they go up to like 80, 85 too. And then just going down to the XLT with the interior that I'd actually honestly enjoy more. You save a good ten thousand just right off the right off the bat right there. That's crazy, man. So then we also got these F two fifties. These are just the work trucks. I'm loving the black bumpers, man. And for one of these, it's only thirty eight thousand. And it looks like they're not rated for front crash or whatever. Overall, not rated. Forty years. Ford F series, America's best selling trucks. Why wouldn't there be a fuel economy on this if it's just a, yeah, 137, 6 speed, I'm pretty sure it's got the 6.2. It's got the 6.2 EFI V8 engine, so I don't see why they wouldn't rate it. 16 city, 22 highway on one of these gassers, I'm not really sure. It's got a 5.0, 5.0 in it, yeah, so I couldn't imagine one of those EcoBoosts probably get crazy gas mileage. Look at that, 56 for this. I mean, the interior, that looks really good. Uh, that's one of the nice Lariat F-150s. Brand new look to them. Cool. I just found this gray one. It's open. 
so I figured I'd sit in it. This one is upgraded. This is the XLT. This is not those just basic work trucks that I was looking at yesterday. This is nice. I can smell, mm, the sun's been baking it up in here and it smells very nice and new in here. Whew, smells really good. And yep, shows the turbo PSI. I noticed that some of them show the, show the trans temp there on the end, but this one shows the turbo PSI. That's really cool. And the interior of these, man, it's really nice. Look at that nice compartment in there. Got this touch screen. That is nice. I do love that. I wouldn't be able to get that on the base model. I know you have to get the, at least the XLT, which comes with chrome bumpers, unfortunately. Let's see if that will turn on. Probably will in a second. Rear view mirror, definitely slimmed down. Nice. Got the nice auxiliary switches up here. No moonroof. Attention to the detail in here, man. Crazy. And these seats, they definitely aren't as comfortable as the leather, but they still have that back support that I love. And you just sit back at a perfect point where you just have the best. It might be just be where the seat is too, because just look where I sit. I sit way back here, and you can see so much from sitting at this far back. I don't know. It's it's definitely a nice truck, man. I <laughs> It's crazy. Man, as much as I love this truck, I don't want to disappoint you guys either, but this is nice. Honestly, the inside of these and the outside... They really did it. They really got it this year. I mean, before I was never really, I was never really that much of a fan of it. Honestly, I thought the ones before looked like some kind of aircraft, just big, bulky, just all these lights everywhere. It's just, it didn't look right, but now they really got it on par. 17 is their year, man. I'm, I'm sure they really, they really uh, up the sales or something. I know the new Raptor looks amazing too. They have the Raptor with them as well. So I can't imagine when they also have the 1500Ds, all three of them are going to do that, but I know Ford's probably going to have it to stay. I know everyone's loving the EcoBoost. I'm not too much of a fan of it, but I know the economy numbers are just crazy. Two turbos in it, it's still pretty cool. And they're going to have the Raptor in the lineup. They're going to have the Super Duty. They got it all, man. I mean, the other one's going to step up with other stuff as well. But I do love the other trucks, don't get me wrong. Can't wait till these events start happening up, man. We're going to be hitting up the events for sure. Now, I know in the past I was able to turn the radio on with pressing the... Plus the CD player. I can hear that it's trying to turn on, but the screen never turns on. I can see there might be some kind of back. I'm not sure, but I guess you need the key for these when you have the sync screen. I think this is the sync too. I know it's the upgrade because I know they have three different versions of the entertainment system, but you guys are probably not too interested in that, but I think it's still pretty cool. So I guess we'll hop on out of here. Got the nice foot things. So I'm thinking I might need to test equipped it with Sirius satellite radio. Wash the truck. There we go. 